What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to my kitchen. Out of all the meals we eat in a day, in my opinion, breakfast is by far the most important. When you eat a high protein breakfast, not only are you gonna be fuller throughout the rest of the day, it's way easier to continue to eat meals that are gonna help you towards your goals if you didn't eat a donut for breakfast. When you start the day with a donut, you're gonna end the day looking like a donut. But don't you guys worry, because in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make anabolic high protein chocolate chip waffles for the entire week. Not only are these absolutely delicious, we can have the entire week mapped out in under 20 minutes. If eating egg whites and spinach for breakfast has been turning your stomach, then perhaps you should give this recipe a try, because I know if you do, you're gonna love it, and it just might change your life. And if you like the idea of eating delicious foods, ones that you actually enjoy to help you on your weight loss or muscle building journey, then don't forget my cookbook is available at the first link in the description box. Every recipe broken down and an easy to use guide to fish right in your pocket tells you the amount of fat, protein, and carbs you get at each recipe, what the way out, step-by-step -step instructions, literally everything you need to succeed. If you get this book and you follow us in here, I guarantee you're gonna see results no matter what, link in my description to check it out. All right, folks, if y'all are ready another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! And I wasn't lying to you guys, this might be the easiest meal prep breakfast you've ever done. We only need six ingredients, a large mixing bowl, and a waffle maker. It's that simple. First thing we're gonna do is set the mixing bowl on a food scale, that way we get accurate measurements and we know exactly what we're fueling our body with. Now the first thing we're gonna do is grab some egg beaters or liquid egg whites, depending on which one you wanna use. We're gonna pour 276 grams down in here. And after that, we need 81 grams of an instant pancake mix. I'm using Hungry Jack, I think it works really good for these. But if you have a preferred brand, go ahead and use that. And after that, we need 93 grams of a vanilla-based whey protein powder. I'm using Final Boss Cinnamon Toast Swirl, some of the best tasting protein powder you can find, available at FinalBossFormist.com. Use my code RJF10, you'll save some money. Moving right along, we need 510 grams of a fat-free plain Greek yogurt. I'm a big fan of this Chobani brand. You'll be able to find it almost anywhere, and the macros are insane. And then at this point, the last thing we wanna put in here is about six grams of baking powder. Now that we got all the ingredients in here, all I'm gonna do is go in with a spoon and stir everything together until we have a smooth batter. This will take a couple minutes just to get everything completely incorporated, but don't worry, but don't you worry. A little bit of time spent now is gonna get you a lot more looks at the pool later. And once you're finished, this should look just like if you made pancake batter using just pancake mix. Nice and smooth. Now, we need to add chocolate chips. And the brand I recommend that you use when you need chocolate chips is Lily's Dark Chocolate Baking Chips. They don't add sugar to this. There's also a lot of fiber in here. They're the lowest calorie chocolate chips I've been able to find. We're gonna go ahead and add in 84 grams. And now that these are added, we're gonna go ahead and fold them right into our batter. Now it's time for the fun part. What I have here is an Oster waffle maker. This thing makes four waffles at a time. That's gonna make this whole meal prep process super easy. I got my batter right here and it's literally pretty cut and dry at this point. Let me show you. So the first thing we wanna do to avoid a mess, anything sticking, is hit our waffle maker with a little bit of nonstick spray. Make sure you hit the top too. Now I'm just gonna take the batter, start in the middle, and slowly spoon this on here. It's a delicate balance between getting the perfect amount of batter and doing too much and it's overflowing the sides and causing you to have to do a lot of extra cleanup. So just pay attention to it, smooth it out as you go. And once you get this whole thing filled up, you'll know you're in a good spot. And then once we got full coverage, I'm just gonna close this up and I'm gonna let this cook for about four minutes. And check this out, guys. After just a few minutes, we have soft, moist, and chocolate chip-filled waffles. Ouch, that's hot. What I'm gonna do is transfer this over to a plate, and then we're just gonna rinse repeat. I'm gonna add more batter, then I'm gonna go in, smooth everything out, make sure we get full coverage. And yeah, it's basically this easy. So I'm gonna keep whipping up these waffles, and I will see you guys when we're done. And here we go, folks. All 16 of our waffles are finished. Now we're gonna shape them up. All I'm gonna do is take a knife and cut right down along all of these lines. We'll go vertical and we'll go horizontal. And there we go. There goes four of our waffles. Now I'm just gonna do it to the rest of them. 
And there you have it, folks. This is one of the easiest meal preps you will ever do. We now have 16 high-protein chocolate chip waffles that will last in your fridge for up to five days, and you can freeze any of the extras. That way, the night before you want them, you can toss them in the fridge. They'll be thawed and ready to go. And if you want that authentic waffle experience, make sure you pick up some Mrs. Buttersworth sugar-free syrup. It is by far the closest thing to real maple syrup you're gonna get without all the calories and sugar. And then all you gotta do is pour it on top. Now, keep in mind, I need a good thumbnail. That is the only reason why I'm doing this right here. So hit that thumbs up button for me and leave a comment to help support the channel. It means a lot. Keep in mind, when I store these in meal prep containers, I'll add the syrup when I put them in. That way, I don't gotta think about it later. Keep in mind, meal prep containers like this one that you'll find at your local grocery store are your best friend. You whip these up, you portion them how you'd like it. Do you want two waffles in each one? Do you want three? Do you just want one? Whatever you wanna do for your diet, you toss them in, seal them up, put them in the fridge, and they're ready to go. One of my favorite parts about this recipe in particular is that it is still good cold. You don't gotta warm it up. You don't gotta do anything like that. You can pull it out, pre-douse it in your syrup, and you're gonna be eating like an anabolic king or queen in no time. So all right, folks, now that we got the basics down, we need to make sure it tastes good. So without further Further ado, let's give this thing a shot. These chocolate chip waffles are calling my name, but before I dive in head first, I gotta let y'all know that my favorite tea from Young LA, the Wash Drip Tea, the one that I'm wearing is now back in stock in all four styles. Not only is the quality incredible, but it's tight around the shoulders and chest and arms, but loose around the stomach. That way, if you're not quite summer shredded, you're not worried about buying something that doesn't fit. I'm pairing that with the perfect shorts. Great for working out, great for lounging. They're cut a little above the knee to show off those leg gains. Quite literally, this is my favorite stuff. It's what I wear every single day. I know if you pick up either one of these or anything else on the site, you are going to be hooked just like I am. So if you head on over to youngla.com, you can use code RJF at checkout. That's going to save you money. It's going to support the channel and you're going to be looking stylish, baby. Life's too short to walk out looking dusty. So level yourself up. You will not regret it. Anyways, guys, let's get in here. So let me grab one of these waffles. Look at that. We got the syrup. We got the chocolate chips. We got the waffle. Ooh, we got it dripping. Oh, we're making a mess. Here we go, guys. Three, two, one. Let go. Mm. Out of all the recipes I've done, this is one of those ones that is so close to the regular version that's not supposed to be healthy or high in protein that if you just gave it to somebody, they would have no idea. This is one of those ones you actually have to try to see what all the hype's about. If you've been following me for a while, you know that there was a period of time where I ate this every single day for like six months straight and it never got old. It made dieting easy and it was a great way to start my morning. Now in just one of these waffles, if you make this recipe exactly how I did it, what you end up with for one waffle is only 90 calories, two grams of fat, 10 grams of protein, eight grams of carbs with two grams of fiber. For one chocolate chip waffle, those might be the best macros and calories out. You're getting a whopping 10 grams of protein, only two grams of fat with two grams of fiber. I don't care who you are, but quite literally anybody can fit that in their diet. If you want to just have one for breakfast, go right ahead. If you want two, if you want three, if you want to double up what I did and make 32 waffles at one time, the world is your oyster. Like I always preach, all you got to do is hit those daily calorie and protein goals, which I break down in a ton of other videos on how to find that. Or if you have my cookbook, that info's in there as well, but you figure out those numbers, you hit those consistently, it is literally impossible to not see results. Now here's something I haven't tried yet, I'm excited to do it on camera. We have the new Anna Butter dropping on March 17th at 3 p.m. Central, which is essentially Anna Bar, but in a spread. So we got white chocolate cookies and cream. I wanna add a little bit of this on here. So if I get in here, hopefully that focuses. I don't have a flip out screen on this camera, but you can see we got the real cookie pieces, we got white chocolate chips, everything that's delicious about our bars, but in a spread. So let me take this, I'm gonna Spread this right on here, and now we're gonna try it. Three, two, one. No, oh my God. Oh my God. I can't even begin to describe what this tastes like other than excellent. And literally, I know when this drops, y'all are gonna love it. So March 17th, 3 p.m. Central, the same place you buy Anna bars at, finalbossformance.com, RJF10, you already know the drill on that. But yeah, I would set a reminder right now because we really went super limited on these. Wasn't sure how people would really mess with a spread, but uh, after tasting it, I know we're gonna sell out, for real. Mm, that might quite literally be the best thing I've ever eaten. Woo. If you guys end up making these, you gotta tag me on Instagram. Let me know what you think. This is by far one of the easiest meal preps you could possibly do. It tastes amazing, loaded with protein, doesn't even feel like you're dieting, super convenient, you don't gotta microwave it. Literally, there's too many benefits for you not to do it. Make it, tag me, let me know what you think. And if you got my cookbook, you already know that uh, you don't even gotta watch this video again because everything you need is right in here. This recipe in particular is in the cookbook, but in order to meal prep it, I just multiplied all the ingredients out by three and did a little bulk cooking, which is something you can do with any of the recipes in this book. So if you wanna diet, 
that's a little more fun, a little more sustainable, check this out. Link in description. You will not regret it. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I really hope that these videos are helping you guys. Hopefully you are feeling good going into the summer. You're feeling confident about that vacation and chilling poolside. And honestly, man, all this weightlifting stuff, yeah, it's fun being healthy. It's fun being in shape. But the real reason I do it is just because I want to look good naked. I don't care if I couldn't lift a pool noodle. As long as I look like Adonis with my shirt off, I'm doing something right. Hopefully you guys are well on the way to being Adonis is yourself. Appreciate you guys as always. Smash that thumbs up button, comment anything down below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Bam, 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 baby. We out of here. <laughs>